Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, all of you. Good morning, ma'am. Good yes. morning, ma'am. We are all morning, going to learn the next lesson of English literature, lesson number six, and it's a small and beautiful poem with the title "To Sleep." What is the title of the poem? To sleep. So, in between, we are skipping a few lessons just because. They are non-details. They are not included in the portions. Okay, so they are not included in the portion. That is the reason why lesson number five was skipped, and we are going to learn lesson number six. Ma'am. Yes. Over with that, ma'am. Who is calling me? Then speak. Okay. So be ready with your uh, notebook, uh, rough book also. We'll have some information, some details regarding the poet, which you will have to write it down. Okay, note it down in your rough book. So we are going to study the lesson six to sleep. Written by the famous poet William Over was is cracking. Am I cannot hear you? Ma'am, I cannot hear you. Ma'am, ma'am, I cannot hear you. 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 I cannot hear you. Ma'am, snick cannot hear you. Ma'am, snick to us are gone. Okay. Ma'am, I can't see you, ma'am. Ma'am, I can't see you. Ma'am, I cannot see you. Ma'am, I think ma'am should do it. Ma'am, it's not to a kiss. 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 I don't know. You look in what span? I'm looking in. Yeah, I'm looking in my camera. No, it's not that. Things happen in the middle. Last one for Hanan. I'm not fair. Oh. 
there was a power failure okay so we are back again so what was i talking about it's lesson number 6 page number 35 be ready with page number 35 to sleep to sleep written by william wordsworth ma'am hmm you want write in rough book nothing like that uh, if you want only the important points you can write in your rough book lesson 6 to sleep learn lesson written by my lesson 5 william wordsworth look at the board by william wordsworth okay more william wordsworth before we start with the lesson anthony is here also you already attended the class anthony okay it's okay no problem okay yes before we start before we begin with the lesson um, have you heard about yes anthony tell me in one of my brother's class is the aha uh -huh. okay uh what are rhyming words what are rhyming words who can tell me what are rhyming words ma'am can i say who is that ah krishna tell me what are rhyming words uh, rhyming words mm. means mm. um it is like the same mm. same sound ah ma'am of mm. uh, two words okay same sound and where does the same sound come in the beginning of the words or at the end of the words end of the words. end of the words so dear students listen carefully rhyming yes. words are words that end with the same sound yes that ends with the same sound words that end with the same sound are called rhyming words okay the word ah that with the sound uh, and ending with that sound Yes, um, exactly the same sound. Okay, now example. Uh, example yeah, we have many examples also. Uh, before that, page number thirty-four, thirty-five. Who can read those words? Who can read the words? Abel, Abel Joseph, are you ready with your text? Ma'am. Ah, okay. Take page number thirty-five. You can see a box with many words in that. Read the first column, word and the rhyming words, starting with by. Read the word and the rhyming words. By. By. Yes. By. Wait, wait, wait. By you read by. What is the rhyming word for by? Look at the right side. Which is that word? Sky. Yes. So by and sky both have the same ending sound. They are rhyming words. Next. Abel, continue reading. Abel, read the second word. Hmm. What is the second word? Bees. Um, Bees. Then rhyming word. Bees. Yes, exactly. The third word. What is the third word? L I E. Lie. Yes, lie. Cry. Cry. See. Very good, Abel. So all these three sets of words have the same ending sound. They are rhyming words. Now, next one, next set of words. Who will read? Uh, wait, I'll ask. Uh, Ryan, Ryan, please read the next set of words. Melodies. Melodies. Hmm. Trees. Trees. Exactly. Then next one. Lay, lay, away, away, summer day, day. Then last one, stealth, stealth. Hmm. Wealth, wealth. Hmm. Then, wealth, wealth. Exactly. So all these words have same ending sounds, and they are they are called rhyming words. Okay. Now. Mm -hmm. getting into the uh, poem talking about the poem the title is sleep so let's talk something about the topic sleep how many hours do you sleep at night uh jibi uh, 
How many hours do you sleep at night, every day? Unmute. How many, how many hours do you sleep at night? Just a rough calculation, how many hours? Yes, Leonel, tell me. Ma'am, eight hours. How many hours, Leonel? eight hours. Eight hours, very good, okay. What about you, Niranjana? You also sleep for eight hours. Ma'am, eight hours. Eight hours, okay, I got it. Then, what about you, Devananda? How many hours do you sleep at night? Devananda, how many hours do you sleep at night? Eight. Eight hours, okay. Now suppose, if you don't get proper sleep, what will happen? How do you feel the next day? Nivet, Nivet. Okay, very good answer. You will feel tired, yes. You will feel tired. And what about you, Mekha? How will you feel? Huh. I feel like to sleep again. Sleep again. You will feel like sleeping again. You will not feel like getting up from the bed, right? Anybody yes. else? How do you feel when you don't get proper sleep? When you are not able to sleep at night at all? Hmm? How do you feel? Devadat? Devadat? Uh, I feel very... Huh. Very? very? Tired and... Tired. Ah. And... Huh. I didn't, I, like, uh, uh, this, uh, I cannot, uh, walk ah. properly. Okay, very good. Let it come out. Whatever you feel like saying, you have to say, okay? Very good. You feel, he, he says that he won't be able to uh, walk properly. And yes, Niranjana, what about you? I'll get angry and get Wow, I that's to sleep. Okay, you will get irritated, right? When your mom comes and co comes and call, you will feel very irritated. You'll get angry, and even uh, Randir wants to say something. Where is uh, Randir? Wait, wait, uh, wait a moment. I'll find him. Uh, find him out, Randir. Yes, Randir, unmute. Ma'am, our eyes also become. Ah. Ah. On black color. Yes, you will form the dark circles or your eyes will look very puffy, right? You're puffy. Yes. Sometimes you will feel that your eyes have become red. And in short, the entire day, the next day will be a total mess. It will be horrible. Right, Catherine? Yes? You will feel very uncomfortable. You will get irritated. So from this, you can understand that sleep is very important. Now, Catherine, just tell me. Catherine, please unmute. Catherine, yeah. Uh, suppose you're lying on the bed without getting getting proper sleep. You're not able to sleep. Normally, what do you think? What do you think about? Ma'am, when I don't get uh, that much sleep, I just lie on my bed uh, uh -huh. without any sleep. Huh. And then, uh, one, then it will be like so late when I sleep. Huh. And then after... Uh, when I get up in the morning, I just feel like sleeping in my bed in the hole. Okay. Okay, Catherine. Suppose when you're lying on the bed uh, without getting the sleep, what are the different thoughts that come to your mind? You're just sitting, uh, lying blank on, the be uh, bl uh, blank on the bed. So what are the different thoughts? What are the different thinking? Uh, like, what do you think about? I think about many things. Like, like what? Example. Mm -hmm. Like Ivana, see, stop sending uh, messages in the chat box. Unless and until it is very important. I don't want anybody sending messages. Or I will uh, in, uh, deactivate from here. Don't do that. I don't want anybody using the chat box unnecessarily. I had already put that in the message. Unless and until if it is very important, you want to convey some very important message. Like, ma'am, I'm not able to hear you or I'm not able to uh, unmute myself. Only emergency messages should be put in the chat box. I don't want to say, here, uh, see any sort of good morning, hi, ma'am, nothing. 
no casual message should be put in the chat box is that clear to all of you yes okay. ma'am yes gathering tell me actually one day uh, when i was chatting with my friend uh, she uh, told me like there was one uh, like scary thing okay so she saw on google and okay. she told me to uh, see it for how i want to so i looked okay. at it Huh. The name was called Momo, and when I I first thought I it was a some type of uh, creepy cow or uh, something. It sounded like one. Okay, okay. But then when I saw the photo, I got creeped out. Okay, <laughs> it was a creepy night, right? You had a white night. You couldn't sleep at all. And uh, see, you think about a lot of things. different things till you feel uh, sleeping there is some mental exercise also you might have heard your grandmother or your parents telling that count from 1 to 100 or from 100 to like for ascending order and descending order then finally you will fall asleep that is a sort of uh, mental exercise to fall into sleep and has anyone heard about counting the sheep counting the sheep yes yes okay you are yes ahian ahian Tell me what is about the uh, what do you mean by counting of the sheep? Ahyan, counting the sheep. Ah, uh. huh. counting the sheep. Many of them are raising their hand. Huh? Ahyan, where are you? Yes, Ashwin. Tell me, what do you mean by counting the sheep? Not able to hear you. Not able to hear you, Ashwin. Unmute and speak through the microphone. Hmm. Ah, somebody is asking me page number. No answer for that. No answer for that page number. Yes. Mummy. Hmm. Tell me. Tell me. I think there is some network issue. Let me. Well, yeah. Tell me. Tell me. And I can see the meaning of counting the sheep. Okay. You can. You can tell them. Tell me what is counting the sheep. There will be so many hmm. sheep, and uh. we can't uh. count that properly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And fall asleep. Okay, okay. Not exactly like that. You just imagine a field full of sheep. And remember, there is no word called sheep. The plural of sheep is sheep itself without s. Okay. So you will imagine. You can imagine or visualize many sheep in a open field. And you have to also imagine a fence, a barricade-like thing. And just visualize the sheep. Jumping over the fence one by one, and you're counting them one, two, three, four, like that. You count the sheep jumping over the fence, and finally you will fall asleep. So this is a sort of mental exercise practiced by many people from different cultures. Obviously, in the foreign countries, if you just check in the YouTube or Google, you will come to you. You can see the videos also counting the sheep. Even in one of the uh, Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean uh, episode, uh, I have seen counting the sheep. Mr. Bean is struggling; he is not able to sleep, and he is keeping a picture of the sheep, uh, a flock of sheep, and counting. And finally, he is also taking a calculator to count it. And finally, he will fall asleep. It's a very funny video. Okay, so that's it. Here in this poem, ah, uh, so we were talking about the importance of sleep. and sleep actually is a good relaxation for the body it calms your body it reduces your body temperature and you know you're closing your eyes while sleeping so your eye movement the movement of the eyes is stopped your brain waves your muscles your heart everything goes to a relaxation mode so what happens the next morning when you wake up you wake up very energetically you wake up with full energy your mind and body everything will be fresh for a good start for a new start so a good sleep is very important and as we discussed if you cannot get good sleep and especially even for a single day or single night you are not able to sleep the next day will be horrible 
the next day the morning the very morning you wake up the very moment you wake up you will feel giddy you will uh, develop a sort of headache you will have puffy eyes you will feel very tired you will get irritated and the entire day will get spoiled so just imagine if you don't get proper sleep for continuous two or three nights how how will be the days it will be very difficult right so this is the situation in the poem the poet william wordsworth is not able to get proper sleep for many nights and he yearns he longs for proper sleep and he also describes how important sleep is for the mind and for the body okay so before that i hope i showed you this picture are you able to see the picture of william wordsworth yes ma'am this is a famous poet yes ma'am william wordsworth he's very very famous he was born in london he was born in london and i'll give you more information about william wordsworth born in the year you can note this down 1770 and died in the year 1850 okay he was born in london he is popularly known as the nature's poet he is known as the nature's poet because he has written many poems on nature on the beauty of nature he explains the beauty of nature in a beautiful way in a wonderful way in all his poems okay and he uses a very simple language his language is very simple used in the poem so that every reader can read the poems understand and enjoy and he uses very sincere words heart touching words so his poems are filled with sincere words in a very simple language he is a very famous one of the most famous english poets of the 18th century born in the year 1770 in london and he passed away at the age of 80 in the year 1850 he is popularly known as the nature's poet the specialty of his poem is they are written in simple language with very sincere words okay this is all about the poet william wordsworth now let us read a poem in which the poet is unable to sleep for many nights and see how he feels take page number 36 now dear students count the number of lines you can see the poem it's not a very lengthy poem just count the number of lines and tell me how many lines does this poem has how many lines does this poem have yes rishi tell me unmute unmute and tell me ma'am yes ma'am 14 exactly 14. yes 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 correct answer is 14 14 so this poem with 14 lines there is a special name for yes, such poems with a Uh, there is a special name for poems having 14 lines it's called it's called sonnets that poem has 14 lines yes 14 lines okay such so poems no it's 14 this poem has 14 lines and the poems having 14 lines with a particular rhythm rhythmic pattern they are called sonnets what are they called it's called a sonnet sonnet yes sonnets have 14 lines and they have got a particular rhyming pattern which we'll be discussing in the next class you know what are rhyming Excuse words me, yes um is the so t sound silent no dear it's sonnets yes ma'am it's sonnet okay i'll check it once again and let you know anyway very good uh, doubt i have been uh, uh pronouncing it as sonnet and i have heard it as sonnet let me check on the pronunciation once again hmm? i'll uh, clarify it in the next class so the poem with sonnet 
Ah, yes. The poem with 14 lines with a particular rhyming pattern is called a sonnet. And there is one more speciality. You can see 10 syllables. There are 10 syllables in each of the lines. Now, tell me what is a syllable? Who can tell me what is a syllable? Yes, Megha. Megha, tell me. No, they are not special words. And what are syllables? I'll tell you. I'll give you an example. We take. We will take a common example. Television. Television. While taking dictation, I have told you how to break the words. Television. Television. How many syllables are there in television? Come on, tell me. Shin. Shin. How many syllables? Exactly. Four. Yes. Four syllables. That is how that is how the words are divided into small, small group of letters. They are called syllables. Yes. It will help us to remember the spellings and also how to pronounce the words easier. Okay, that is the that is how we syllables form words. Words form sentences. Okay, so each word we can see, each word is made up of one or more syllables. There are short words like come, go, do, sit, stand. All these are syllable, uh, these words have only one syllable. Okay, and uh, children, I think it's time for us to wind up the class. Anyway, we have one more period. So I will do the remaining part in the next class. And after that, the remaining, listen, listen carefully. Don't talk in between. And remaining part, we'll have the discussion. We'll just finalize. I'll chart out whatever uh, like uh, events, whatever programs uh, some students had suggested. I'll write it down. And we will have a small discussion on that. OK, only 15 minutes yeah. in our next class. Yeah. So be ready. Be ready with your literature textbook and rough book in at 2.40. Okay, bye. See you. Lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch and come back. Okay, thank you.